हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूज ऑफ द पॉलीमर एप्लीकेशन इन द फूड पैकेजिंग कॉन्सेप्ट अंडर द एरियाज ऑफ पॉलीमर प्रोसेस इंजीनियरिंग नाउ प्रीवियसली वी कवर्ड अबाउट द द पॉलीमर्स एप्लीकेशन इन द कॉस्मेटिक्स वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द पॉलीमर्स अफेक्ट and uh, interaction then we discussed about the polysaccharide based polymers then how we are using the polymers in different type of uh, cosmetic industries then we discussed about the protein modification schemes in the cosmetics uh, and discussed uh, different examples related to the cosmetics in this particular aspect uh, we are going to discuss about uh, the the use of polymer in the food packaging we discuss about different type of food packaging materials uh, then we will discuss about some method of the biopolymer production and biopolymer based and active packaging then biodegradable polymer for packaging you see that uh, whenever we talk about uh, the packaging of any kind of uh, thing maybe a food item or maybe something else that creates an a barrier between the atmosphere and the, the product in question so they must possess certain properties and they must uh, they, they must be uh, you can say the non interactive between the product in question and they must also not be re non reactive with the, the environment so that's why their role their development their affinity all these things are very important and we are having we are dealing with the thousands and thousands of the different products which need to be uh, packed then in that case uh, this particular aspect the packaging is aspect is a very crucial in all segment of uh, the things so when especially the food nowadays we are getting more and more impetus towards the hygiene and other thing then the packaging in respect to the 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 the, the food item it's very crucial because a slight mistake and a slight uh, um, deficiency may create a problem so let's introduce all those things and then the packaging of an item for the consumption is progressively becoming more and more in terms of uh, the marketing value of the product on the shelf next to the similar product and compete for attention from the potential buyers now this packaging give a positive sense to the consumer because the attractive packaging attractive uh, attractive presentation of uh, the product it gives some sort of a positive attitude to the customer now if the customer experience if it is utilized a good design must possess a graphic and information label about it contents now the graphics and other thing when we impart then must think about the engineering perspective that all kind of the dyes the printability the affinity all these things come into the the uh, in the into the picture so it is apparent that uh, some products they are not the healthiest but the, uh, the design of the packaging of an unhealthy food can make more and more attractive to potential consumers than the healthy product contained in the poorly designed package so this is the, that's why it is very important to have a proper designing of all these kind of a packaging material in fact nowadays uh, the industries they use packaging not only to protect and uh, cover product but also as a tool to advertise and convey their brand to their customers one of the most popular material used in the food industry for packaging is the petroleum plastic or the synthetic polymers sometimes referred as uh, synthetic polymers everywhere you will find whenever you go to the market and purchase any kind of the food item you will find that uh, these are packaged by a uh, synthetic polymers now these polymers is include the polyethylene terephthalate low and high density polyethylene ldpe or hdpe polypropylene polyvinyl chloride polystyrene all these and polylactic acids so another type of uh, importance is uh, sustainability which gained the interest of many scientists researcher and environmentalist in the polymer world biopolymer materials are an environment friendly substitute for the synthetic polymers now because uh, the reason is that when you use the product contained in the packaged material then usually people tend to destroy or throw it away the package material it creates the environmental problem if it is not being treated properly and because the sustainability aspect is gaining more and more impetus nowadays 
So therefore, and uh, everybody in the Indian context, they heard about the single-use plastic. They are being used for the packaging of the various uh, commodity items. So therefore, and they are non-biodegradable. So that's the degradability. Their environmental concerns, all these play a very vital role. So that is uh, uh, that is why the biodegradable polymers or the bio polymers they are gaining more and more attraction nowadays. Now, because these bio polymers they are biodegradable, they are the agro industrial waste or the, the biomass uses, and they are possessing the renewable some sort of a renewable raw material. In addition, the renewable raw material are desirable in terms of their availability and the cost effectiveness. Furthermore, if you see the biopolymer material, these can be prepared in such a way that they are edible and possibly with active antioxidants or antimicrobial agents. And they are very much important because of the, the food material. Now, these biopolymer material can also be formed as uh, composites and laminates so that they can enhance their properties. While remember, if you say that the main purpose of food packaging, which is to preserve the quality of the food product so that the ingredients may not come out to the atmosphere and atmospheric things may not get in the, in trapped in that particular food product. It is critical to recognize the importance of health and safety in the different material used in the making of the food packaging. So, the, the packaging material also play a very crucial role. The potential for the migration of the component from packaging material into the food that, that may cause the, some sort of the contamination and that is highly undesirable. Now, example of possible contamination contaminants are additives like some antioxidant stabilizers and plasticizers, they are being used in the packaging material. There may be certain monomers, um, while there is a possibility of unknown substance that may be transferred unintentionally. There may be certain fillers, there may be certain dyes, like all those things. Some of the scientists, they identified the numerous uh, migrant compound that contains uh, contained acetyl tributyl citrate, normal alkane, tributyl, um, aconitate, then phthalates, uh, all those things. And uh, many of the substance they are detected in the sample of plastics, they are not authorized for the consumption by the health and safety organizations. So all these things play a very, you can say, the crucial role. Now, since biopolymers, they are progressively being substituted for common synthetic polymers, usually they derive from the oil derivatives and that is why biopolymers, they are gaining more and more impetus. The migration risk from the bioplastic into the food is also inevitable and a possible source of contamination as well. However, um, as these uh, bioplastics uh, are made by use, uh, in natural ingredients, the risk of uh, food safety is caused by the contamination excessively reduced as a natural uh, ingredient do not pose a severe threat to food and consumer safety. Let us talk about the food packaging. The packaging is used in all sorts of industries with application in the medical field, the pharmaceutical uh, aspect, the food, electronic devices, all those things. A variety of materials are used in order to prepare and manufacture the packaging. Food packaging and its uh, related technologies, they are the essential part of the food industry as they involve the protection and preservation of foods and products. So, in fact, the food packaging is designed to protect and conserve the quality of food without deteriorating their appearance, taste, smell or nutritional content and also to inform uh, the consumer about the ingredients and the nutritional information, what they contain as per the regulatory bodies. Now, consumers, they have a right to know what the contents of each packet is having. Therefore, the product information is always to be printed on the packaging. So, as a product compete for attention uh, for the potential buyers, there is an ever increasing interest in creating attractive marketing solution and improving packaging design to have a more ergonomic and effective products. As consumer demand rises, 
the producers are going to be challenged as they encounter more concern in terms of creating potential threats to product quality. Now, some of the person they presented the reviews like Jacob, etc., the protection, preservation, and presentation, they are the three fundamental functions of package. Although the determination of or determining the package function is rather simple and logical, it leaves aside other aspects for consideration. Now, some of the scientists, they find out the four function of packaging is namely contain containment, convenience, protection, and communication. So, all these are the integral part while designing the suitable uh, packaging material, while designing the attractive packaging material, and while designing the eco-friendly packaging material. So, in view of the convenience factor, which is defined as a consumer's usability, a package should be user-friendly, it should be easy to open, and if possible, then it must be resaleable, handle, it must be easy to handle, it must carry and recycle, and um, it can be easily disposed of as waste material. Many other scientists, they have a different opinion about the packaging functions based on their expertise. Like some of them describe the three major classification for a successful packaging design. The three classifications are authenticity, meaning and the package's ability to convey the brand image to the consumer. Let us talk about the packaging material. The packaging material, they are used in the food and allied industries are highly varied. There are a lot of packaging materials available as on date to wrap up or to packet the food material. The main responsibility of these materials is to keep food fresh, safe from the production stage all the way to the consumption including the storage, distribution chains as well as and they must restore their original condition. They should not decompose, they should not deform all these things. And the materials that have traditionally been utilized in the food packaging, they have worked well throughout the years including glass, metal, aluminum files and uh, laminates, tin free steel, tin plates, plastics, papers, uh, paper boards. In general, the flexible and rigid synthetic packaging materials, uh, they are used in food products. Throughout history, the most common material used for protecting uh, and covering the goods, they have been the glass and paper. However, each of these materials has its own advantage and disadvantage like glass containers used in a different application and shapes such as glass bottles, they are the oldest packaging group and are still used in different ways. And the glass packagers are most suitable for containing liquid as they made of a natural component with a non-permeable barrier. And uh, this is one of the advantage. However, the biggest uh, disadvantage is that they are very much fragile in nature. The craft paper, usually a strong paper board, or cardboard, this is usually the brown paper and that is produced by processing wood chemical pulp and it is mainly used for bags or as a wrapping paper. Sack paper is a craft paper, is a permeable and sponge-like with the high tear resistance and elasticity. It is widely used for the packaging product that demand strength and durability. Now, an advantage prior to um, paper packaging industry is the innovative solution marketing experts that can design on it and for collectively in the industrial, medical and consumer section. The greatest disadvantage of paper packaging however, is the absorption of water and moisture and that makes uh, more, more unsuitable for a different type of a food packet because it may impart uh, entrapment of the moisture, may impart the microbial activities and other things that is uh, highly undesirable. Nowadays, uh, with the arrival of a new technology like three-dimensional printing, it is possible to have a diverse, good quality packaging material. The application of 3D printing technology in the packaging industry has shifted the dynamics of uh, packaging in many different aspects like uh, in the potential to have the full color graphics and text uh, for labels. The 3D printing is a process that uses the computer-based control to form a layers and coatings of material and it is convenient in terms of a packaging design. People are also able to provide the color coating 
and are layers in almost any material regardless the shape or geometry. Now, let us have a um, talk about uh, the polymers and the food packagings. The plastics or polymers, they are commonly used in the packaging industry due to their easy molding and transformation and various plastics and their different properties, they allow for many packaging options like shape, size, weight, function, printing, all those things. Nowadays, uh, polymers are an integral part of the modern life that uh, right from day to day affairs, everywhere you will find that polymers are there in your uh, lifestyle. Now, they are because of their desirable properties including stability, resilience and ease of production. In other words, the plastics or polymers, they are favorable for the producer for the reason that they are light in weight, uh, malleable and flexible. Thus, they can be formed into any shape by the different means like blowing, extrusion or co-extrusion, casting, lamination, all these things. These are the different processes through which this can be uh, formed. Now, this makes the possible packaging unique object that are different to fit into the normal or basic containers. Now, they are useful in different parts of food packaging due to their barrier properties that help to keep the product fresh moisture and other things cannot go outside or cannot enter into the, uh, the uh, food products. They prevent the contamination and they increase the shelf life. This polymer packaging can be beneficial to the environment because the food industry manufacturer and a business, they are able to reduce waste by preserving foods for longer than the case without the polymer packaging. Now, uh, some of the, the scientists, they reviewed the polymers for modified atmosphere packaging or MAP application. Now, these compounds are the main material for flexible packing and for MAP, but they can also be used in the rigid or semi-rigid packaging solution. Polyethylenes including low density polyethylene, linear low density polyethylene, HDP, polypropylene, polyesters including the PET polycarbonates and polyethylene, uh, naphthalate, polyvinyl dichlorate, polyamide or nylon and ethylene, polyvinyl alcohol are, are the main polymeric material or a film that used for the MAP application. On the other hand, some of the researchers, they worked on the structural evolution of the blend of polycarbonate and polymethylmethacrylate by, uh, by simultaneous biaxial stretching. Since the mechanical and the gas barrier properties of polymer fill can be improved by using the biaxial stretching process, these biaxially stretched films are greatly utilized as a packaging material for industrial and food products. The most important problem with the plastic is that the production and processing of plastics are energy consuming processes leading to the production of a greenhouse gases and contributing enormously to the global warming. They create the waste yes, such as the plastic produces substantial environment threats or pollution thus hurt the natural resources wildlife when they are spread in nature like disposal of non-degradable plastic bags to go food containers, plastic straws, plastic bottles for bottled water has a major and a direct negative threat to the, the sea life and can be ultimately disrupt the natural food chain. Therefore, it is a barrier to reduce the distribution of these material and use other packaging materials. Now, this particular figure example shows the packaging material composition for replacing plastics like uh, aluminum, corrugated board, paper cardboards, paper based composite, wood, textiles, glass, all these are the substitute for uh, the packaging materials. Now, as per this particular figure, the addition and the possibility of the replacing the plastic material with other packaging material through the use of renewable natural materials and new technologies, there may be other alternatives to substitute for the polymeric material. Let us talk about the biodegradable polymers in the food packaging. Every day, people are coming up with the new ideas on how to better package products. First, it was being able to recycle the packaging material and now the people are continually coming up with the new and the better biodegradable and environmental friendly materials. Uh, various companies, they have already begun the transition 
into the better materials. The word biodegradable is used to explain material that decompose by a way of uh, either enzymatic action of the living organism or sometimes uh, it may be naturally degradable by buried in uh, the atmosphere or a soil. The ultimate product of decomposition process is they are the water, carbon dioxide and the biomass under hydrocarbon and aerobic condition and biomass and uh, CH4 under the an, uh, anaerobic condition. The main challenge in replacing the conventional packaging with uh, sustainable material that are biodegradable such as uh, polybutylene, adipate, coterthalate, PBS, polylactic acid, polyhydroxy alkanoid, they are the starch blends. Now, it it is worth nothing that according to the statement of some of the European bioplast organization, a plastic material is defined as a bioplastic if it is either bio-based, biodegradable or features both properties. At this time, bioplastic represent about 1% of approximately 320 million tons of plastic product. Uh, produced annually. But as the demand is rising and with more high level uh, biopolymer application and product emerging, the market is continuously growing and subsequently the research is also continuously growing uh, in different laboratories. In general, the biopolymer material they are derived from the polysaccharides uh, protein or lipid based on the compositional units in order to get better biopolymer material properties they can be treated that is laminated formed as a composites. In addition biopolymer material can be made of uh, edible and active with a strong antioxidant and antimicrobial properties. Now sources of these biodegradable polymers they are lignocellulose product, wood, straw, pectin, chitosan, chitin, gums, wheat, starch, cassava, potatoes, maize. Now, chitin and chitosins are the main and most abundant uh, source of natural polymer subsequent to cellulose. Now, in addition, there are uh, some plastic or a paper product made from raw material like bamboo, wood, recycled paper, bagasse, sugarcane, etc. Now, bioplastics are made from component found in plants like hemp oil, soybean oil and corn starch. Now, bagasse, they has the least effect on the environment because it is strong and does not deform easily. It is suitable for the use in takeaway boxes, plates, bowls and ice cream cups. It is uh, heat and water resistant and will not suffocate the food stuff. Apart from this plant like bamboo, they are consumed as a packaging material. They come from the renewable resources that are compostable and biodegradable. Let us talk about the synthetic polymers and biopolymer hybrid. Apart from using the natural fiber, there is also possibility of using a mixture of synthetic and natural polymers. Many researchers have done a lot of studies. This shows the preparation of synthetic polymer and biopolymer hybrid while reducing the consumption of synthetic polymer material in nature boosts some of the properties of biopolymer like their mechanical properties. Some of uh, the scientists they studied the effect of switching PVC film with a biodegradable polymer with the aim of preserving the characteristics of meat such as its color and to restrict the microbial contamination. Now, 10 organically uh, formed meats from slaughtered animals at 16 to 18 months of age, they were each put in the polystyrene plates and packaged with the PVC film and biodegradable polyesters. Their result they show that the, uh, the mentioned biodegradable polymer film could be profitably used to replace the PVC film for packaging fresh processed meat. Another scientist they also prepared the blown film using modified starch polyethylene with the better characteristics than common polymers. However, it should be noted that the use of mixture of synthetic and natural polymer despite all arts benefit, it is not possible to achieve the complete biodegradability. Now, here we have enlisted some of the, the synthetic polymer and uh, biopolymer hybrids that they are basic raw material like starch. The advantage is that they are availability, they are easily available, they are relatively cheap. And uh, the disadvantage is that they possess uh, the hydrophilic character, poor mechanical properties. Then chitosan, they possess 
the antimicrobial and antifungal activity and they are possessing good mechanical properties. But the low oxygen and carbon dioxide permeability, the brittleness and the high water vapor permeability makes it unsuitable and this is a disadvantage associated with them. Then gluten, they possess the low cost good oxygen barrier properties, good film forming, but they are highly sensitive to the moisture and brittleness. This is the disadvantage. There are certain nanomaterials they are used in the food packagings. Now, as biodegradable film or natural polymer have the weak barrier and mechanical performance, uh, their application for the food packaging have been extremely limited. Now, the use of uh, nano composite they has a great potential to extend the utilization of the biodegradable and edible films. This uh, uh, will in turn reduce the waste from packaging to the processed food by means of the preserving fresh food and extending their shelf life. The definition of nanotechnology is to create uh, and utilize the structure to ha uh, that have a minimum of one dimension in the nanometer that is 10 to the power minus 9 meter length scale. The structure created by the nanotechnology, they are called the nanocomposite, which may present modification in the material properties. In order to obtain the modification, an interaction is desired between the nanofiller and the polymer matrix. Uh, an excellent method of enhancing the properties of a bio-based film is the incorporation of nanoparticles. And this particular technology, the nanotechnology can be utilized in the food packaging application to construct better performing, stronger or lighter polymer structure. One method uh, which is useful for the food spoilage avoidance is the use of nanoparticle of titanium or silver dioxide as antimicrobial. In fact, uh, incorporating nanoparticles into the food packaging is an effective way to block moisture, carbon dioxide and oxygen from uh, entering the food content and therefore help in preventing food spoilage. There are many valuable studies on the different uh, aspect of nanocomposites from the various material have been composed by various scientists. Like one of the scientists in 2006, they reviewed the performing properties and the relation between the functional characteristics and nanostructure of the bacterial polysaccharide uh, plant algal polysaccharides, starch, agar, alginate protein, pectin, animal polysaccharides and their main application in the food industry. Uh, some of the other uh, uh, scientists, they developed a film implant with uh, titania nanoparticles uh, using sonic technology to gain the consistent distribution of uh, nanoparticle in biopolymer and characterized the result using the different uh, sonification. And their result, they showed the incorporation of the nanoparticle. This helps to recover the mechanical properties and increase in the thickness of film. Some of the scientists, they studied the effect of high pressure treatment on some properties of polylactic acid, silver uh, nanocomposite film. And they also studied the migration behavior of uh, uh, nano silver from the nanocomposite film with 50% volume by volume ethanol re recent as a food uh, simulator. Some of them, they studied uh, the analytical technique used for the development of chitosin nanofilm as well as the, the major application of the chitosin based active food packaging system and the nano encapsulated chitosin film showed a noticeable decrease in water vapor permeability and the dispersed chitosin presentation in the protein significantly verified the improvement of the mechanical strength of nanofilm. Now, there are several methods attributed for the biopolymer production and they are uh, these methods uh, like solution, casting, melt mix, uh, electro spinning, thermopressing and casting, extrusion blowing. These can be used to change the properties of these material. Uh, now, one of the scientists in 2012, they used the various uh, fungal melanin concentration as a modifier to prepare the PLA based composite using the extrusion method. And they showed that the mixing of fungal melanin with the PLA has a possibility to be developed as a value added modifier due to the improving the overall properties of PLA. The mixture of PLA and melanin film uh, exhibits the valuable antioxidant activity and they were uh, the active uh, against the pseudomonas uh, are, you know, and their different type of the bacterial. 
Now, based on the various results, uh, it was uh, concluded that uh, high PBXPG composite film, they are suitable for the safe microwave cooking and other application as a self-ventilating product. One of the scientists, they studied uh, the, the random copolymers as a material for the flexible and sustainable packaging solution using the lamination methods. On one hand, the linear butylene moiety was replaced by the glycol subunits with alkyl pendant group of diverse length. On the other hand, uh, the copolymer with the different uh, cis trans isomer ratio of the cyclohexane ring they were produced. A trending topic in the improved packaging design is in the incorporation of additives into the packaging material. Like uh, antimicrobial packaging contains films, they have the antimicrobial additive incorporated into the polymer film used for the barrier protection. These films maintain good physical barrier properties as well as the quality of the food. As per the past few years, antimicrobial film for packaging application have received growing attention from the food industries. Now, food gate biopolymers as well as their inherent nutritional properties, these can be adopted as a design for improving the food quality and safety with imparting function like active antibacterial and antiviral properties. Like some of the example of food hydrocolides uh, are the high molecular weight long chain biopolymer that is made of high molecular weight polysaccharide and proteins. Now, hydrocolides, they are commonly used as a functional food additives in many food products to save or improve the sensory characteristics of food and drink to improve the shelf life of the food product to formulate the production processes so as to be uh, simpler and more efficient and to produce the functional food product. Now, hydrocolides, they are the largest number of biopolymers. They have the functional properties like textural, viscosity and a feel and let them represent the sensory and flow characteristics like fat behaviors. The academic research and constant pursuit to improve technology design in the packaging industry has led to innovative solution for the enhancement of the food safety and its quality along with the extending shelf life. One of the researcher, uh, research was done with the aim of comparing two barrier material that is biodegradable natural PHB and petrochemical polyurethane mainly focusing on their antibacterial agent realization performance. Now, uh, Usually, the study, this particular study indicated that the kinetic energy released by the, the chlorohexidine digluconate, which was active agent in the both polymers, was considerably different because of the surface degradation and superposition of the diffusion in PHB. This brought to light the effect of active biodegradable packaging on the, on the base of PHB. Now, with the incorporation of CP, the barrier performance against the light oxygen and uh, water vapor as well as antioxidant activity of SPI film, they were increased. And all these things, uh, films were successfully against different type of a bacteria. Thus, this, the, the scientists suggested that the shelf life of food may be extended with the help of uh, different films. Now, at last, uh, in these days and ages, the, the synthetic polymers, they are generally manufactured from petrochemical, which are non-degradable and the use of biodegradable polymer decreases the toxic effect that non-renewable plastic have on environment. Now, to make up uh, for the shortcoming of bioplastic, the incorporation of nanoparticle is again having a better candidacy towards the development of uh, and performance of bio-based film. It also reduces the waste associated with the packaging of uh, processed food that extend the shelf life of fresh food. The presence of uh, nanoparticles, especially like metallic nanocomposites, bioplastics and their migration fruit can cause contamination and other health and safety problems that science may not be yet aware. Therefore, the essential to study the assess and understanding these properties structure the behavior of advanced material for future food packaging application. The best practice for the greener tomorrow is to have the packaging industry and consumer reduce the production and usage of packaging material. So, for convenience, dear friends, we have enlisted 
four different references. We can utilize those references for further studies. Thank you very much. Thank you.